Hello everybody, video here for you today. There is a ranch in northern Utah that's considered to be the epicenter of the strangest and most disturbing phenomena on Earth. Bizarre UFO sightings, animal mutilations, and unusual energies that have proven harmful to humans. The federal government tried and failed for 20 years to find answers, but now a new team of experts has taken over determined to reveal the secret. Skinwalker Ranch. This is the no cap recap of the secret of skinwalker ranch season two episode three called laser focused aired may 18th 2021 for more skinwalker ranch recaps there's a playlist link in the upper right the episode begins with a video conference that eric arranged with a member of former ranch owner robert bigelow's national institute for discovery science team they studied the ranch for 20 years and not that much information has been shared since that time. This is the first contact the current Skinwalker Ranch team has had with any NIDS employee, likely due to the government classified or business confidential nature of the sought information. U.S. Army retired Colonel John Alexander immediately reveals that he was with Robert Bigelow the day he bought the ranch. Eric's first question concerns Homestead 2. Colonel Alexander says they too maintain camera surveillance and tested for radiation and such all over the ranch, including Homestead 2. He then describes observers on the Mesa witnessing a spot of light in that area opening up and something six feet long coming out of it and running off. When the area was examined, there was no physical evidence of it, including on the dusty road that would show any type of contact. This is a still from a computer-generated video recreation of it. Dr. Taylor tells the colonel of the two separate events in the past three weeks in which the team encountered something stalking or watching them, and when it vanished, there was likewise no physical evidence. Colonel Alexander goes on to reveal that team members at Homestead 2 had instances in which they would see a distortion shaped like a human move across the trees as again shown in this recreation. The colonel tells the team that Ned's employees saw something in the tree above a cow one winter and that one shot it with a shotgun and it fell out of the tree and vanished. A single footprint similar to a velociraptor was the only disturbance in recently fallen snow. It is Colonel Alexander's belief that all of the phenomena on the ranch are connected and that it involves a portal. He goes on to say that it's like multi-dimensional reality and that every so often the dimensions overlap. Dr. Taylor says that wormholes are a theory postulated by Albert Einstein and others, and that because of his experiences on the ranch, he believes it could be possibly reality. This appears to be the first use of this wormhole graphic that was most recently used in season five. Dr. Taylor suggests they use lasers to try to detect any portals or wormholes, and the team agrees. While they wait for that to happen, Thomas has suggested building an observation tower at the southern property line, so they begin that endeavor. They will have a clear 360 degree view all the way to the northern property line on the Mesa, as well as the east and west. This is the view from a person standing on the ground there. Dr. Taylor suggests having a camera on each corner. New herd of cattle arrives for the summer to keep the land grazed. Each cow receives a tracker so they can be easily found if missing. Representatives from New Salt Laser arrive on the ranch and Dragon asks them, if they have used lasers to open up a portal before and they respond it's their first time. 
The idea is that if such portal exists, then a laser would theoretically change in some way, for example, color, direction, or disappearing altogether. It will use the new observation tower to project the laser over the property. During the previous season, the team used a laser pointed at the mesa, and it showed up as two beams of light on the mesa. They will use better cameras and other scientific instruments, as well as a 600-watt scanning laser system in tonight's experiment. And it's showtime. They're also using changing patterns. Eric's camera that he is monitoring from his phone shows the well-documented glowing effect the Mesa has. They have no idea what causes it. Dr. Taylor requests a single beam directed at the Mesa in the spot that showcased the split anomaly the previous season. And it doesn't show a split, but he thinks he sees some light scatter on the rocks. The team will look at the video of the experiment frame by frame. Newsot will repeat the experiment at Homestead 2 the following night. Researcher Ryan Skinner returns to the ranch with a former deputy sheriff of Uinta County, Chris Porritt. The ex-law officer wants to share some information from previous cattle mutilations that he was involved in investigating. Port visits the ranch at least one more time in the future to divulge more unknown information. Skinner and Port meet with ranch caretakers Candace and Tom. Port says he became friends with former ranch owner Kenneth Myers while working with the county. They shared a love of horses and would ride together. The Myers family acquired the ranch in the early 1900s. He is asked about the numerous chains and locks Myers had and responded that Kenneth had everything locked down, including the cupboards and his car. Myers told Porritt that the reason is that he has visitors, aliens, things come up missing or dead. He could sense that the aliens were there and doesn't know why they picked his ranch and him to pick on. He's asked about the events in Kenneth's house, which is called Homestead 1 now, and is where the caretakers live. Port says Kenneth and his wife would wake up to find window screens removed and would hear strange noises at night. Port next tells of the time Kenneth could not find three of his heifers. Port got there early the next morning and they rode all day trying to find the missing cattle. They found no fresh tracks. Kenneth had a shed close to the house, but the door would not open. Port pushed it in as far as he could and looked in and saw that the heifers were stacked on top of each other, barely able to fit in the small shed. Kenneth thought they were dead, but Port saw that mucus was running out of their noses. Kenneth poured a cup of water on one of the heads and it came back to life as if drugged or catatonic previously. This is again a still frame of a reenactment of the event. Unlike the other stories, Port was a participant and a witness to this one. The group goes to meet Eric and go to the spot of the cattle mutilation that, that Port reported. It is very near the spot where the cow died with the UAP overhead during the prior year. Port explains that there used to be an irrigation ditch near the trees and that the cattle that were mutilated were two black Angus cows. As is the case, a lot of times, surgically precise removal of organs, not a drop of blood anywhere, and no burn marks. A few feet away, the grass was matted down as though there used to be something heavy and cigar-shaped sitting there. He put in his report that it was 23 feet long, and he presumes it to have been a spaceship. 
Port returns in season five to give more information about this particular incident. The team meets with reps from New Salt Laser at Homestead 2 for that night's laser experiment there. Some of the NID scientists have stated that they saw orbs and portals at Homestead 2. They will be documenting the experiment with both a night vision and thermal camera. This is the laser test pattern on low power to start. Then they go with one beam moving up and down in the Homestead doorway. Nothing happens, and Dragon suggests that the trigger might be when it decides to open. Dr. Taylor says, I think you might be right. The next part of the experiment is to take the laser equipment inside Homestead 2, and from there shoot a beam towards Homestead 3. Dr. Taylor warns the guys about being aware of smelling anything funky or feeling funky because this is where funky things happen. Before they can start, though, Eric's lightning strike detector goes off for the third time this night. This is with no lasers being active. Dr. Taylor says they are diode lasers anyway with no high voltage discharge. Dragon radios Caleb, who is monitoring the thermal camera. Caleb reports a heat circle right above Homestead 2. Eric and Thomas take a radio and walk up the mesa for a different view of things. Travis feels a sudden temperature drop and asks Dragon about it, who confirms. The laser reps also felt it. Dr. Taylor says later that it was like an immediate 10 degree drop. From the mesa, Thomas sees this light in the Russian olive trees that look like someone turned a flashlight off and on. Dr. Taylor and Dragon run to the spot but don't see anything. They end the experiment. Later, Dr. Taylor says, All I know for sure is that we have to keep exploring and keep experimenting until we find the answers. I'll continue retro recapping seasons two through four of the Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. Seasons one and five are already done and are in my Skinwalker Ranch playlist. Season six will start in May of 2025 if it holds to the previous scheduling. I'm also doing retro no cap recaps of the Curse of Oak Island seasons seven and eight. All of the other episodes from seasons 1 through 11 are already done and are in my Oak Island playlist. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.